Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's Darcy's Misadventures with Mixed Media. And I want to do one of those waterfall uh, folios like uh, Nicole on uh, cut glue. Relax cut glue. That's what it's called. But I'm going to do mine a little different because I want to make, um, I'm not going to have straight bottoms. I'm going to be wonky because, you know, it's what I do. So I had some 12 by 12 papers and while well, I had started out with eight and a half by 11, which is why my width is going to be what it is because I was cutting that in half and then anyway, mine that I cut are four and a quarter by six inches and then this is basically 10 by 10 folded in half. I don't know if that's going to work or not. We'll see. Um, cause I've never done this before and do you think I paid attention to measurements? And if you know me, you know, it's no surprise that I can't find my, um, my, uh, thing to make scoring scoreboard, my scoring board. So I'm just t taking my ruler and my bone folder and doing that. Now I could see through my ruler. That makes it easier. If you can't see through your ruler, that's okay. Well, first of all, you could just fold them at the top because the bottoms are going to be wonky anyway, so it's okay if they're not folded the same length. Or you can just put them on your thing and then, you know, measure your half inch that way. Is that half an inch? I don't know. I've been doing it at that dark line. So anyway, you, you can use your, any of your cutting. You got a cutting mat or something. Or you can make yourself a template even to be able to do that. So now I've got all of my things cut here. And I'm going to hopefully do six on each side. So that one's going to go at the bottom. One. So they should. We'll see how this works. If I did it too. If I need more or not basically. And then I've gone with some neutral colors for fall, and I'm just going to collage these up and have fun with them. All right, so I don't think I need to be quite as tall as it is, so I will be able to cut off my bottom there a little bit, or add one more, which will make seven. I do have uh, these colors, so I'll decide um, in the end what I want to do. I'll just I'll leave my top open and uh, decide what I want to do. So I want to start with my bottom one. I think people usually start with their top one, but I kind of want to center it, have a little space on the bottom, a little space on each side. So I'm just going to glue that down and that's going to happen for the next few minutes uh, as soon as I find my art glitter glue, which I just had. Oh my word. It was in front of my face. Of course it was. So, whoops, I'm going to make a mess with glue because that's what I do, okay? Alright, now I'm just going to center that. Even the, like, I might leave the bottom one squared off, but the, uh, the other ones are not going to be straight and squared off. So now I'm going to take this one and glue it, this back side, like you do, and just meet that top bit there. And then I think that's how you do it. You do a little bit up on each one. Oh, shoot. You might want to have it be a little bit straight. That's all right. I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to fix the fold and, and hope for the best. Because I do want the side. I want the sides somewhat straight. I want them to start out straight. We'll see where they end up. So. So if your folds aren't perfectly straight, you, you may have, you may struggle like I do. Or. You just meet it up at the top there and line up your sides and uh, lay it down there. And you just want to make sure you don't have a big gap right there. So I'm going to keep doing that uh, all the way up on this side and on this side and I shall be back. Okay, so I ended up cutting off this much, which is an inch and a quarter. So, and I probably could have done this a little bit less wide, but I'm okay with that. I got space. I'm good. So that means I've done it 10 inches wide by eight and three quarter inches tall. That's what size it ended up being. All right, so now I've got them all glued in. Well, like I said, I wanna keep the bottom one and I don't wanna worry about, uh, I don't wanna really look at the other side while I do this side because it, it will mess me up. So 
I could just use scissors. I probably will just use scissors. Um, where are my long scissors? Where's my grandpa scissors? They've disappeared. Okay, I just want something that's going to kind of do one. No, it's not quite one. It doesn't really matter. I just want straight lines. I don't know. It doesn't have to be straight lines. You could totally just do. So what I could even do is come in and um, use my ruler in that. And then I want to I want to cut each one before I cut the next one so I can see what's happening. So I just use my bone folder and my ruler to make a line. And then I will probably do this one more. Like, I might even do it like, let's see, where does that one come up? Right there? That's no, okay if it comes further down. I might do it right about like that. But I don't want to get the marking on my next paper down, so I'm just going to do that. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm going to try not to worry about it too much. And you could even just fold them under. And then you'd have like a little pocket. I mean, that wouldn't be so bad either. Okay. Now for this one, do I want to follow this horizontal line? Or do I want to make it a little bit more wonky? I think I want to make it a little bit more wonky. So I'm going to, I'm going to go deep with that line. I might regret it. I might not. We'll see. The whole point is just a wonky waterfall. And you, do it, you don't have to do it perfectly. I missed the line. That's okay. But you can kind of see where we're headed with this interesting look down here. Um, I think I want this one to actually come up like that. To some degree. Where, you know, I throw things and then I can't find them. I'd rather take off too little than too much. So I did it a smaller amount. And if I want more off, I can. Alright, that's kind of cool. And then, let's see. I'm just gonna wing it. Just gonna so I kind of went low on one side, then low on the other side, and then you know just alternated those basically is basically what it amounts to. So then we end up with that, which is kind of fun. And then when I collage on there, um, I'm gonna try to use you know complementary or you know colors that work together. I kind of like how this went flat down there, so I'm gonna try to do that on the other side as well and try not to overthink it um ruler would be helpful i'm just gonna go for it i'm not even gonna think about it i'm just gonna go a little uh a little just you know which all right so yeah so just going lower on this side this time and Switching it. Yep, I'm gonna go lower on this side this time. And I seriously, as soon as it's out of my face, I don't know what I did. There we go. Let's just cut them and see what happens. Yep, I'm gonna start with the top one. Crazy pants. And if I'm gonna collage this back piece, which I which I very well may, uh, I could even cut that bottom one. And you don't have to do straight lines. You could do curvy lines. You could use your decorative scissors to cut the bottoms. All kinds of things. Although if I was going to use my decorative scissors to cut the bottoms, I'd probably want to collage it first. Unless I know I'm going to leave a border. Which I know Nicole leaves a border when she does this. I haven't decided yet. I, I, I was thinking, that's why I chose these colors, that I could totally leave a border and it would look nice. So, we'll see how it ends up okay there we go so that's how that side looks and then together there they are that's kind of cool i like that and they even i don't know that's just i was, I was trying not to overthink it try not to that's why i didn't look at one than the other see i could even make this little pocket back here to uh, keep stuff in which i might because then i've got a 
place to put things. I'm going to stick that in the back. Ow. And I'm going to collage the outside. I'm going to collage the pages. Don't know that I'm going to do it all on screen. I'm waiting for a call from the insurance company. So, hey, you might get two videos today because I might just go ahead and put this one up since it's short, like the D-Stash one was short. So, yeah. And this is just a little folio. It can go inside a journal even if you wanted to. It could go in the signature and be like part of the journal. It could be the center. You could even have it be like this and have it be like the first page in the signature or whatever. Or, oh, my pocket did not go on right. Look at that. Oh, my word. Let's fix that before it's too late. <laughs> that was... Good thing I turned that over. Probably because I folded it and messed it up. Alright. Let's start doing something on the front. Make it look like it was planned or something. Was it planned? I don't know. I'm just taking all these papers I've been playing with the last few days along with oh, of course I need those in there my distress pages and if you saw my uh, maker's creative collab then you saw you know a collage that I did with that like this looks like it might be perfect for this kind of a thing it's got some blues and green blues I know my colors greens and browns and whatnot um so I think that would be fun. Um, and I like a deep, rich, uh, violet, purple kind of a deal happening for for fall colors. This is going to be kind of fall fall themed. Like, I would probably use this piece. I, could, I would potentially use this piece. Definitely want to use that piece. Uh, these are a little bright. A little orange because of uh, leaves and whatnot. A little red and orange, maybe. We got some brown and turquoise happening there. These, definitely going to use these. Uh, that piece there is potentiality. Uh, you know, if I don't use blue, who am I? So these are, are pieces I'm probably going to use throughout the journal. Got some little orange and turquoise happening. And I just like that. I like that, you know. I like that. Alright, so that's some gel plate prints. And then we've got these. I've got more of these. Where'd they go? I lost them. Well, because, you know, I look at them and then I throw them out of my area. You know, I just toss them so that I can find them again. I like that one. I will find more of these. I have, like, a whole freaking stack somewhere. Somewhere. And I've got tissue paper that I've been playing with. More distress papers. These colors. I got way I've got plenty of papers to work with. That's that's not an issue. <laughs> Definitely have lots and lots. With some more of the brown. That's got some green and orange. Oops, that one's a little different. I like that one. I like that one. I mean, do I not like I like them all. Who am I? What's who am I kidding? Plus, once you rip them down, but and the more you know, I've got my pile here. If I need to come back to it, and like I said, I like that too. All right, stick these over to the side, and I might use my this. Oh, by the way, I put it in my community tab, and it's on Instagram and Facebook. This is a freebie on my Kofi site, and it is a thank you to my subscribers. I reached fifteen hundred descri describers subscribers and uh that is my thank you to you not huge it's just one page you can use them as tags you can press and cut them whatever um but yeah that was something that i thought you could play with i got some more tissue paper here i could potentially play with on here tissue paper is just nice for layering and then i've got definitely more animals and stuff i can play with and mushrooms Animals and mushrooms may be what I end up doing as my focal point, we'll see. Anyway, we definitely have lots to play with. Uh, I might put one of these on the front. I should flip these animals so you have them go in both directions. Because I'm like, you know what? I like, kind of like him, but I want him facing the other way. So, you know, I like him facing towards the inside of the book. So, you know, she, this one might get used... Let's see. So 
so you can just kind of cut them as close in or as far out as you want and then you've also got I did it on uh you know some gel plate that I had scanned well it's part of another kit too I think so there's that and then I want to back that with what did I do with my pile I threw them over here right all right do I have anything that has a little bit of purple in it that's got red and blue. It's that bluish color. It's a little purpley on the purpley side of things. Oh, that could work. I know I stuck some. See, sometimes when you have a little bit of blue and with the red, it almost. Plus, I've got the orange in there too. So, all right. I got some of these in evenness. There's a little bit here and there. All right. I want to take off my edge. I don't know why. I do. Am I ink them or am I not? I haven't decided. Oh, that was nice and crooked. Good. That was good and crooked. Let's. Let's not worry about it though, because worrying about it does nothing. Also, if we rip it, we're not going to worry about it, because we're just doing this in the background anyway. So. And you can even just rip it, rip it. Don't have to use the ruler. But I was thinking like something like that, and then where's the bunny? something like that I don't love this brown I used it because it was neutral and I thought well that would be nice but I'm not not especially loving it what if I covered the whole front with this is that too busy is that too much might be too much or just tone it down a little bit with of course that green's not in That green's not right. Can you have, oh, this has got purple in it. Maybe that will. Or we could just, well, I don't want to just do that, but. Something like that might work. All right, I think I will. I'm just gonna glue this on there and then cut off what I don't want. Does that make sense? She's going to glue it, she says. So I glued right up to the edge, or close to it, and then I'm just going to put that on there, and I'll cut around the edges. And I might even go to the back a little bit with this. See, that's the side that rips nicely. <laughs> there's usually a grain in tissue paper, and there's one size, one side that will rip nicely, and the other one, you're gonna have to cut it. You just don't have much choice about it. Just trying to get the edge there. I use glitter, art glitter glue or tacky glue if I need to. There we go. It's on there nicely. I would wait till that dries to fold it. Potentially, that's that's ideally what you would want to do. And then just, well, also it helps if you wait for this to dry too. But let me cut that off. I'll be right back. All right. I think doing the two different ones is a little much. But doing just an orange and a purple will be okay. So I'm just going to tear this messily. So I have a, a, you know, all right. I don't know if that's dry, dry yet. But it's already wrinkly anyway, so it shouldn't matter too much. Because I need to see the front. And then just kind of maybe even do that. I don't hate that. He's just a little small for the cover, that's all. But that's okay. Just that's why I'm trying to expand him a little bit with the uh, the other stuff. And it's all right. It's all right. Just taking off some of the the white on there, and I'll just glue that on there.
sometimes this uh, the uh, National Geographic paper does get a little bit ripped time to time. That's all right, because I was using sandpaper. And if you look in my videos, you'll see some about distressing. One says it was a distressing day. That was, and then even more distressing, and that was just me distressing National Geographic papers, inking, uh, painting, sanding, stenciling, stamping, doing all the things. Mixed media at its best with a grungy, nice, good, grungy result. Well, that's a nice bit of glue down there. All right, so there is my cover. And I was gonna put these backwards because I thought, well, maybe I, I won't do the edge on the front, I'll do the edge on the back, and now I'm kind of wishing I had done that. But hindsight, 2020. Not that I can't, I mean, it'll be a challenge to uh, make it a, let's see. It won't be impossible though, because I could just do this. And then do that, let's see how this works making a border on it let's see if we're able to make it happen i mean if not i'll just cover the whole thing i don't care all right i mean it doesn't look bad though and that worked pretty easily to uh give me a border it's not perfect but that's okay too I just need to straighten the top a little bit, which you know what that's going to do. You straighten the top a little bit, and next thing you know, you've got this tiny piece of paper because it wasn't straight this way, but then, oh, let's just do, let's just straighten it this way. How about that? In fact, it looks pretty straight this way. What? Let's look at it from this way. One of my sides must be crooked. Yes, one of my sides is crooked. Might be what it is. Okay, so let's not do, let's do the side that's crooked. Let's even that one out, yep. Since we know the top of this is straight-ish. All right, that's not bad. It's a little bit more of a border than I would have liked, but that's okay. I can always go over the edges with some stamping too. All right gonna ink it you don't have to wash that see for the next one under that I kind of want to have something that brings one of the at least one of these colors into the next block so I'm thinking this one might be nice um, kind of like the rough edges yeah not that rough <laughs> if I was doing it on a flat surface and not on top of my project that would help a lot mm-hmm it would Actually, now that I've done that, I might want this side. Way to go, lady. All right. Make it about the same width, give or take. I might give myself a little bit of... Make them wider as they go down to the bottom. Okay. And then, see so that pretty much centered up, and then I can just fold up the bottom to see where I want it, and then rip it, and get it nice and crooked. That's all right. We can do that. I hope you are all doing well. If you try this, I want to know. Or if you've done um, Nicole's regular waterfall or any kind of waterfall. Uh, surprisingly, this is my first one. <laughs> Don't know how, but somehow this is my first waterfall I've ever made. I mean, I knew it was simple. I mean, unless I'm doing the one that pulls down with the thing on the bottom. but Because there is one that does that as well. Okay, that doesn't matter too much if it lines up perfectly. All right. There we go. So that gives you an idea of where it's headed. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to probably play with this some more off camera. And then, um, is this big enough, do you think? See, I have some printed digitals, too, that I wouldn't mind using. Let's see. I also wanted to use gel prints. I didn't want to just use, um, how do we like this one? How would that look under there? Bring in a little more orange. 
Now I could even, you know, do the same ones going down or one that I do on the left, I could do on the right. Really is not too important. This was made using an awesome stencil. Okay, I want to make sure that I have it straight going down. I'm and I know it would make sense to tear it from this side, but it it doesn't do it right. <laughs> you get it, whatever side you tear from, like I tore it from this side, so I have less of a white. And then this one has more of a white, whatever was torn, torn up, sort of. All right. Did I? Oh, I came down. See, when I, I don't know, see, do you guys cover this part where it does that? Or do you just kind of do the flip part? I don't know. All right. But I'm going to make my sides straight and fold this because I don't think my paper is quite straight. Then fold this. Try to hold it there. Fold this up. This one's going to be a little bit more tricky because I also have... So I'm going to cut this off first and then I'll come and fix that other one. All right, let's see. That's the wrong side. <laughs> you gotta tear it with the, the sharper edge. Try to get it right up to there and try to tear it fairly straightish. So here's what I was talking about right here. I have that straight line there, so I just kind of want to get that done. So I'm just going to fold that and tear that. Hope I can see the line enough. And then, there we go. Do we like it? Yeah, I do like it. I, it's a little bit different, but it brings the orange down. Uh, I might even ink it a little bit to get it a little bit... Um, what do I want to ink it with? I want to bring something from up here into there. Because um, this is a bluer. Bluer than this green here. Uh, but also we have... I wonder if aged mahogany would would work. Doesn't matter. I don't have to be this precise, but it's just kind of who I am, I suppose. Um, you guys know what I'm? Oh, water bottle, which is like right in front of me. Oh, I was looking for the cover for the glue. That's there it is. And then. I'm going to grab just one of my gel plates real quick so that I can do a little bit of that. It doesn't have to even be all over. I just, apparently I want to splatter it everywhere is what I want to do. All right, that paint, it does not, does not want to, is it going down into it at all? No, nope, it's not really. Oh, now a little bit maybe. Okay, we get a little taste, a little bit of it happening. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I think the wilted violet's going to be too bright. Uh, dusty corn corn cord is too purple. All right, what I could do is I think the plum, plum, I think if I bring in a stamp with the plum, it can even be these letters. This has got to dry first. Be right back. So I'll just take some of this, which is a permanent, uh, it's almost like an eggplant. And then I'm just kind of going around the edges even. I don't really need it to be, the middle is going to be kind of covered anyway. I didn't want it perfect. Let's put it that way. I didn't want it perfect. Which I didn't get it perfect, which is fine. Let me blow dry that real quick because it's wet. It does, I don't, the paper is a little weird. And then I've got the, um, the, um, the golden paints on there, the fluid acrylics. And they're uh, kind of almost like shiny for some reason. They're not always like that, but sometimes they are. So see this, I brought this color down into here and I think that helps. 
Um, this is still bluer than that, but I'm not going for like perfect matchy matchy anyway, so I'm good with that. I think when Nicole did hers, she had like some already collage pieces that were cut in nice perfect squares because, you know, her base piece these pieces were nice cut perfect squares so or you know perfectly imperfect because do any of us have them be are any of us able to do them perfectly hmm. probably not he actually kind of looks nice on there let's see put him in a taller also we have mushrooms and I got some rock walls too, you know. And more mushrooms. And what else? Got this hawk and a raven. He's a little small. The mushroom is kind of big compared to him. He's too tall. Well, let's see. He might almost fit, but I'd want to put him on the other side because I don't like them facing outside the book. I'm just kind of weird like that. What about our little, don't have to use mushrooms. I could use flowers or nothing. Doesn't really, I mean, I like the mushrooms for the color, if nothing else. But he's a little big with that mushroom. All right. So I could start with mushrooms and then add some other things later even, but. These are watercolor mushrooms that I got off of dreamstime.com. All right, where are, I need more squirrels. That's part of my problem. Where my page would be, or I could even, you know, kind of fussy cut one of these out for there too. It might be too wide, we'll see. You can always cut them down to make them fit. Is he too wide? He might be kind of cute there. Let's say, let's cut. That little, the little check out there, I'll cut that. And then, we'll see, I don't want to have to cut his tail. That's why I do these as easy fussy cuts, because sometimes I just don't want to have to go through and cut out the, I mean, it won't matter. I'm just going to. And then we already have this lovely little, there's his ear, don't cut off his ear. I don't try to cut it perfectly. So that's why I like these as like, you could use them as, you know, you could push, cut them out partially like that. And then you still have the flower or you could cut the squirrel out completely. He's kind of cute there. I don't hate it. Um, do I want something lighter behind there, though? That's the question. I have to make some more of these. Just have to be, be aware of the size. Like, uh, I know I already have a flower on there, but what if we were to put... Is the mushroom just too much? Probably. That's all right. I like that. If I put that down like that, and I kind of just want some book page, maybe, or something lighter. I do have, this is lighter, a little busy. Let's try it, though. I'm not afraid to rip up my um, fussy cuts. You don't need to be afraid, either. No, don't like that. I want lighter, though. Not orange, necessarily. Just something that he can stand out against. So, I don't know that this one will work either. No. That's all right. Anyway, for now, let me look through there. Probably looks pretty good there. I could always come back through and uh, outline him or something to make him stand out a little bit more. Um... What about this paper that was edging the... Yeah, it's a little too bright. It's just the flower that just needs a little bit of... Like if I had left the outline on there, like... Like, uh, 
like Nicole does, then it would have been fine. It would have been fine, fine, fine. See, he's so cute. He might have to go in here, too. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to wait to glue him on. I think I am done with this for today. And hopefully you've got some. Oh, he looks really nice on there. But he, there's, I need something more. I wonder if there's a quote or something I could do. I'm not as good as at this, like, little pieces quite, quite yet. I'll get there. I'll, I'll get there. I'll get better. Do we, well, that's not too bad. I'm like, do we want the mushroom just hanging out down the bottom? I kind of like where you kind of almost just see that at the bottom, I think. But he could go over here just fine and dandy. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I hope you have a delightful day. Love you.